morning folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel uh, and thanks for tuning in. Just out with Richard uh, again this weekend. We came up to the morns with the hope and the weather forecast that there was going to be snow and ice about. There's nothing at all. Uh, I think they got most of it on Thursday and Friday from the photos that I've seen anyway. Sleeve, Binion uh, and that was in really nice frosty conditions but it's all disappeared now so yeah I think he's going to try and get some other stuff but we're sat in the cloud at the minute hoping that later on this afternoon uh, or early this morning sorry it'll lift up quite high um, we came up for sunrise we left the van about five o'clock half five this morning uh, and came up via Hare's Gap up the sleeve and o'clock and turn left um, but yeah we're, we're in the clouds it's quite cold have a cup of coffee, chill out here for a bit, and then back down to Hare's Gap and up the sleeve burner. Uh, get set up for the evening and see if we can get some sunset stuff. Uh, back to the van and get home. So we waited for a good maybe two hours there, uh, hoping that the cloud would lift, but it just hasn't played ball. So. We're going to descend down to Hare's Gap and assess it from there, hopefully get below the cloud and see what level it's sitting at. Um, if it's still high, Burnham might be out of the question, but I was telling Richard about my wee camping spot down by Bencrum and it might be quite nice to, to shoot down through the valley over Bencrum Reservoir. So yeah, we'll get down to Hare's Gap here, have a wee look and see what's going on. So we were just uh, walking down the Hare's Gap and the cloud just out of nowhere just lifted right up um, just opened the, the whole valley. Really really nice conditions. Uh, Richard's just setting up a, a wee time lapse, a wee still time lapse um, and you can just see the, the cloud moving through. Um, I'll turn around and, and show you here. Changed. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful light over Ben Crawl. So I think Richard got a nice wee time lapse there. Um, and then it kind of just like faded out, no sun or anything coming through it. So he's just moving locations here, uh, getting things set up again. Then we're going to get some lunch on uh, and chill out for a bit and see what happens. So we've just set up, I think we're going to have a bit of lunch and we're running through ideas of, of where to head to after lunch. Burner, burner. Richard wants to go up sleeve burner. I'm not feeling it. Um, there's quite a lot of cloud up there and it would just be a wasted journey for me. Um, give us an E. B, give us an E. E. <laughs> what do you get? But if the man wants to go, we'll take him up, sure. there and debating where we're heading next for for sunset originally the plan was to, to head up sleeve burner but I think just by the time we we actually do this log up there um, 
yeah. And we've decided to, to head round on up to leave the block back where we were this morning. Uh, hopefully the clouds stay a little bit higher. And uh, just before we start going up Cora to the Commodore, we're just going to plant ourselves in against the wall uh, and hopefully get some shots down through the valley this evening. So we were making our way around to Cora to find the wall, but Richard stopped us in his tracks to, to have a look at this wee spot. So let's go have a chat with him and see what he's thinking. Um, you know, there's some lovely lines just leading your eye diagonally through the scene. But exposure wise, it's going to be really hard to tame that sun until it's set down below below the mountain. So, like the after colour, you know, the glow in the sky after sunset. Mm -hmm. But there's so much potential here. And it's not quite as far to walk. <laughs> More importantly, <laughs> yeah, no, I think if I can be patient for the sun to go down below the mountain, this will be perfect. And I can pick out details in the in burner behind the clouds. I think this will be us actually. Yeah. Nice. Decided to, to go on round just to explore it. If it doesn't work out, we can come back to that wee point for, for the evening. You like the look of this? I think so. see what happens uh, and if not it might be calling it a day and heading back to the van to be a glass of wine at home and chill out for the rest of the evening. What do you think Richard? Sounds good. good. <laughs> Guys, thanks very much for, for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a wee thumbs up and remember to subscribe to see what I've been up to this week. Guys, have a good weekend. Cheers. Bye.